So this is my one year review of the Asus AMD Advantage Edition. I am receiving it back from a warranty RMA. HDMI output function error, VGA driver stop responding, repair detail, parts replaced, nothing. Action, reinstall HDI image, update BIOS firmware, reinstall, that's all stuff I've pretty much already done. You did nothing to it. <laughs> I bet I can get it to crash again. As quick as it came in, it's been sent right back to Asus. Main board is finally replaced. I have been satisfied by the Asus customer service team at last. Finally, after a second time of sending this laptop to ASUS, they have honored my wishes and replaced my motherboard. The awesome thing here is that I'm not experiencing the same crashes I used to on sleep and wake and after unplugging a USB-C display. I don't know if you've been having those problems, but I have. And this 6800M manages great in Call of Duty Cold War Zombies with a solid 40 to 50 FPS with medium to high settings and uh, some ray tracing enabled and uh, you know lots of bells and whistles are enabled and, and still solid performance so, so overall great uh, video editing and gaming laptop. 30, after upgrading to 32 gigabytes of RAM, it's uh, just uh, two crucial sticks. My score is at 9,830. Uh, I think the general understanding here is if you do get a motherboard replacement from Asus for this laptop, as they use a regular cooling paste in their reapplication, but at least it's not crashing, it's stable, and I'm a lot happier with it. It seems to go to sleep now without the fans blaring on seems to also wake up quickly when i want to get back in so i'm very optimistic as to how the prospects for this are currently looking and uh, closing the lid also puts it to sleep properly uh, the new motherboard they put in had the old vBIOS for the GPU so I've updated that vBIOS to the new one and mine seems to be quite below average in the time spy 3d mark score here uh, there's always an understanding that the uh, silicon lottery is something that you play when you get uh, some of these laptops here and uh, the Ryzen 9 is no different so before I conduct my final tests I'm going to read some of the comments uh, some of you shared with me on my last video. This was my six month review of this laptop. Sir, is G15 Advantage Edition good for video editing? Yes, in fact the Asus ROG AMD Advantage Edition is so great with video editing that I can scrub 4K clips with ease. Not only that, but I can also edit one of the heavier HEVC codecs of the 5K uh, res video from the Air 2S. I do enjoy video editing with this laptop quite a bit. Fans get a little loud, but I put it under my desk in this cubby down here. And uh, if I have it in the balanced mode, it, the fans don't get too, too loud. And I can edit my video and my laptop sits quietly down here in the corner. And when I am editing on the go, I have a 100 watt USB-C power supply that I can use if I'm doing some light video editing. I wouldn't do this too, too often as it does run through the battery and can uh, cause some wear and tear on your battery uh, because it's not directly supplying the motherboard with power. Another thing is I do have the laptop upgraded to 32 gigabytes as I previously said and that does massively help with uh, scrubbing the video and keeping uh, video in RAM. I also when sitting down have my mouse, soundboard and keyboard all plugged into one dongle so it's just one thing I have to plug in and my power and my display. Uh, I was thinking of getting a USB-C uh, display dongle but I wanted to have that direct USB-C to C connection um, 
for my display so I could get the maximum performance out of that RX 6800M uh, because the USB-C is actually directly connected to the 6800M. Uh, you don't get that direct connection if you connect through HDMI. Some of these uh, display dongles also caused problems when I was connecting through DisplayPort to the other display port because there's just so many different standards that are considered when using dongles and sometimes it's just best to stick with a direct connection and use a different uh, cheaper dongle to get all your USB type A's uh, into this guy. I have no other considerations. Back to the video. Now one of you said clean installs are unfortunately not a great idea on some laptops. Uh, in my experience, we did custom clean installs with preloaded drivers for a while in the shop I worked at, but after that stopped, the colleague that programmed the custom made tool left, and we tried clean installs. We bricked a few new units, namely Asus ones. Trackpads and Wi-Fi refused to work even with the correct drivers installed. Now, I am running a clean installation of Windows on here, and I'm not getting any serious problems, so thankfully, it does look that... Uh, doing a clean install on this laptop specifically is something that you can do. Some of you noticed in the last video that I speak very slowly and that I should pick up the pace a little bit. I agree. In the last video, I seem to not be very passionate about the laptop and it seems that if I'm not super passionate about it, I don't tend to really get into the details quickly. Some in agreement, but also had problems with defects in the laptop. And one other comment mentioned, the majority of people have found this laptop to be great because the majority have, have found to be uh, not caught with the defective laptop. Now, Dos de Ros, uh three months ago said, I think your review is rather poor. This is a gamer-oriented machine since it has the the currently the most powerful GPU and AMD, AMD can produce is like if you bought a Lamborghini and complained about it not having much space for buying furniture from Ikea. Now that was a good analogy. Um, in terms of clean install, it will be a problem in most laptops. In my case with Windows 10 preloaded, Asus updated BIOS on its own after asking me for confirmation and the instability issues went away. See, like, if you are fairly experienced and you can go fetch all the drivers yourself, doing a clean install isn't very problematic. But you really do need to be diligent in finding your drivers and installing them correctly and cleanly. I did end up sharing a link with some drivers, but if you do your own research, uh, you might be able to find some stuff that's more up to date. Just keep tabs on the Asus uh, driver page and the AMD 6800M support page. Now, I don't believe that Dosdoro's got 3 hours and 50 minutes while gaming on battery. Maybe Splinter Cell isn't very battery intensive, but he did have Wi-Fi turned off, RGBs turned off. Over 9 hours of Wi-Fi browsing in YouTube. I've never had that much. Uh, definitely let me know what kind of um, battery life you guys have been getting. Like, g give me, like, if you're watching, like, YouTube and multimedia and browsing the web, give me an, an hour for that. And give me an hour for, like, if you're playing, like, a hard-hitting AAA title. How many hours are you getting? Sriram Nagarajan watched the video in... 1.5x speed. I hope I read that name correctly. Uh, but yeah, you certainly can watch one of my videos in 1.5 times speed and you <laughs> will probably be fine. Really weird video. LMAO. What a terrible review. What the fuck? Okay, great. So that's all the comments I'm going to respond to today in this video. Before this whole ordeal, I was getting 10,000. So my score's only really gone down about 300. That could be due to, again, like I said, uh, having the liquid metal paste removed and like a regular silicone paste or whatever they put. And definitely let me know down below what your scores are, how your battery life is. I'm just excited to have a laptop that finally works. And perhaps that's why my last review was so harsh and critical. Would I have bought it originally if I would have known it would have not been defective? Probably. At the time, it was a great buy. Today, in 2022, you could probably hold off for a 6000 series Ryzen processor with the Smart Shift 2. 
as I believe the first gen smart shift in this laptop came out a little bit premature, but perhaps those vBIOS updates did solve a few major problems with it. Well, thank you for watching my AMD Advantage Edition laptop funeral speech. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that it helps you decide whether this piece of tech is epic or not. Thank you for watching Epic Tech with Nathaniel. Bye.